Hey everyone. Um, so yeah, I want to talk to you about how we are helping hotels uh, by automating their repetitive tasks. Hotel technology is highly fragmented. Uh, we know this. We know that hotel tech suppliers and hoteliers do the very best they can to mitigate issues that come from these systems, but still solutions overlap, poor integrations cause limited agility, and there's a very high cost when it comes to improvements. You know this is the case in systems like PMS, uh, CRS, RMS, channel managers, booking engines, building management systems, POS, and lots, lots more. You'll recognize all of this as your traditional tech stack. We call it the Messiverse. And our mission is to simplify it. If I say the word automation, I'm guessing that the first things that come to mind will be perhaps a chatbot or self-service kiosks, purchases through app, express checkouts, control the room from the phone, perhaps um, even um, other things like the ordering in room dining, for example. But these, regardless of being very guest-centric, are removing the guest interaction um, 100%. So we made them for the guests, but it removes the human interaction and engagement that comes from a human interaction industry like hospitality. At AFI, we try to think about something else. And I would like to you, my challenge to you would actually be to think about your daily tasks or your team's daily tasks in this case. For instance, checking reservations, payment reconciliation, processing invoices, checking credit card validity, room status check, or maybe even creating new bookings. How much time is being spent on repetitive things that come from tasks exactly like this? So at AFI, our aim is actually the employee's journey. Using hyper-automation, we are removing all these tedious, boring tasks that come from labor-intensive actions like the ones I mentioned previously. If you think about any process, any task that you have to do today, tomorrow, next week, in an ideal scenario, you would hope that it would start and end with no hiccups. Now, we know that's not reality. In reality, we know that these tasks come with a lot of repetitive things. Repetitive things lead to mistakes. These mistakes lead to do-overs and more repetitive tasks. Now, we don't mean to say that these tasks go away or disappear. That's not the case. What we mean to say is that we want to do them for you. And by taking care of everything in between and automating these processes, these tedious tasks, we make sure that every process goes back to being as smooth as it should be. And automation can impact all departments in hotel. We have built robots that go from finance, HR, front and back office, engineering, reservations, and much, much more, like housekeeping, for example. And the benefits of automation are virtually endless. It gives you time back for tasks that bring you value. Time to actually focus on strategy, time to engage with guests and with team members. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think any of us join the industry to spend the day behind the screen. So it liberates you from that. And with it, we know that less boring tasks lead to happier employees and ultimately happier guests. And we do all this by making the technology available to anyone, accessible to anyone, and bringing it fully as a service. We run, build, maintain all these robots with no setup costs or fees. And we are very light on the IT tech stack, on the hotel's environment, simply because for most processes, our technology or RPA technology will only need a user login just as if we are a new uh, collaborator, a new employee joining that hotel. Our experience and background in hospitality Allows, you to allows us to quickly identify opportunities where automated automation can be more efficient. And we work together as a team with each hotel, hand in hand, making sure that these automated processes are as smooth as they should be and that we tackle the right departments. To give you some quick examples of other robots we built, 
canceling invalid bookings, checking credit card validity, processing cancellations, payment reconciliation. We've done things with uh, night audit tasks, processing no-shows, doing updated room status, invoice routing, a very big one. For data, we extract room data. We can upload data to for business intelligence, upload STR data as well. FMB snapshot using reporting from both a POS and a PMS. Updating tool source of booking, updating user rights, AC check, and room status check. Now, these are just 16 examples. Um, by now, as of earlier this week, we are around the 53 uh, automated processes throughout all departments. And um, I mean, we know that the messy verse is just the way it is. We, we recognize it, we know that it's nobody's fault. Uh, both, as I mentioned, tech suppliers and hoteliers try the very best they can. We choose the right tools, we train the talent to work on those tools, but still, naturally having a lot of different systems cause a lot of different tasks, labor-intensive processes. Now, our aim at AFI is exactly this. It's realizing that there's an issue, recognizing that's no one's fault, and solving it by simplifying the messiverse. Thank you. So, Ellen and I have a, a couple of questions. Um, one, we're, we're seeing a, a lot of automation at the property level. Do you have plans or, or thoughts as to how you might elevate that to the chain level? And then also for the chains that have got 5,000 hotels, how, how does that, that yeah, implement 100%. work? 100%. Um, no, that's a great question. Uh, we do start with very, I try to target um, operations, hotel operations, so for people to quickly relate to it. Uh, but usually, and the ones that we see that are most profitable, is when we work at, so not 5,000, but maybe uh, our average client is 30 to 50 hotels and with centralized operations. And we see high value in that because it removes thousands of hours, literally. For instance, in processing invoices, in payment reconciliation, in uh, managing bookings simply in, uh, in, the, in the PMS or a CRS, for example. And that, at the end of the day, it really saves, um, no, I wouldn't say manpower, uh, because we're completely on the other side of it. We don't try to go that route, but it saves time for actually people to bring value, to have time to be in meetings, discussing st strategy. Um, so yeah, uh, we, we are interested in building more and more that can reach more hotels instead of just specifically going property by property. That wouldn't be scalable for us either. Thank you. I, I think that kind of tied in a bit with the question Ellen had. Uh, yeah, so um, <clears throat> is it a plug-in to, for example, a PMS or a channel manager? How does it all technically work? And are you limited by, are you certified with just a few or any? Um, so no, uh, the, the good part of it is that we are platform agnostic, let's say. We don't really re rely or depend on an API, uh, wait for some integration to work or go into a partnership with Oracle to be able to build something on, on, on Opera, for example. Uh, we don't need that. So for most systems, all we need is really a login. For instance, if it's a cloud-based PMS or a cloud-based system, um, all we need is that login. From our cloud servers, we build the robots to operate on them. And it's just, if you would watch a screen, you would literally just the same as you would see someone clicking and typing and stuff, but instead of a human, is a, is a robot behind it. So Thank a login is, is enough. Great. Thank you. One more. Thank you very much. Uh, quick, another just quick one, please. Just a quick, quick question. So you just mentioned uh, cloud. So not all PMS systems are in the cloud as yep. of 2022. So can you work with... We can. Okay. Uh, we tackle that as well. For instance, most of it, when we speak to traditional chains that use Opera and it's on-premise, so Opera on-prem, we tackle that as well, simply with having a virtual machine in place, and then it allows us to access remotely and just start the procedure. So it's exactly the same way. It just has a middleman, which is a computer being in the spot that nobody touches except uh, our robots. Thank you.